Hey guys, this is a guide on how to create a nav bar or a navigation bar on your Notion website. I'm going to use simple.ink. This is um, our tool, which by the way, has got a generous freemium plan if you want to try us out. And I'm going to show you how uh, this is the, the website right here. As you can see, building public.simple.ink. And I've got my Notion page right here. And um, obviously there's no nav bar on Notion. We just have the search button right now on the public website. Um, what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to walk you through how you can do this. So in here, we just have a, a guide here and uh, you will find this very video as well on this page, most probably. Um, we just made the following thing, which is on your Notion page, you need to create a quote block, which I'm going to do by just typing slash quote. You can also obviously, let me just make some space. You can also obviously just look for the plus button and then scroll until you find the quote block. There we go. So in here, uh, the quote block has to be the first element of the page and it can be a quote block or a synced block. You'll see in a second why, but let's just take it uh, bit by bit. So um, this will be your nav bar. Anything you put in here will be part of your nav bar. And I'm going to say, let's say, um, homepage, why not put a comma space. This will be my first button. And let me just select it and place as a link, uh, building public that's simple at ink. So I'm going to put a, actually let's say like, let's call it home. And then let's say Daniel's Twitter. Maybe I want to promote my Twitter and then, um, support us. So let's see. Uh, Daniel Stiro going to put a link here and obviously link my Twitter and support us. Do I want that? Let's just say coffee.com. Uh, I'll just link. It doesn't have to be. We're just doing this for test purposes, right? Once I do that, let's look back at the link. So I've done step one, create a code block. Step two is add in there the elements. Uh, you can also have text elements, by the way, but obviously if it's a nav bar, if it's a navigation bar, you will want it to be um, linking to something. So now that this element is here, so not a second or third or something else, not, uh, not any other blocks position on the first position. If I go back here, I might need to refresh a couple of times. Um, and then let's see, there we go. I've already got my nav bar here. So if I click it, I'm going to homepage. If I'm going here, I'm going to Twitter. And of course you can also link any other page from, I just don't have that many pages on this website, but um, it might be in your interest to, to add a link to another page on the website. If we resize this, let me just add this. If we resize, you're going to see that this works on mobile as well. And uh, you can obviously try this on your mobile uh, device. And um, yeah, nothing in here. So it has to be the first element. Now, as a pro tip, <clears throat> We did say here that if you put a quote block in a sync block, we pick up on that as well. So the reason why you, you'd want to do that is that you probably want to have the navigation bar the same on every page. So uh, at the moment, you have to copy paste, put it on every page. And then if you want to make a change here, let's say um, contact us something like that, that won't be on all the other pages. So to prevent, then you need to go and sync it. So if you have 10 pages, you need to go on 10 pages and add that. So that's inefficient. What you want to do is I'm going to press slash again. I'm going to create a sync block and in here, just paste this. Let's see. So now because you see this red outline right here, that means it is a sync block. If I click copy and sync, now I'll go on my other page, wherever that is let's say here um, and let's see, make some space. Actually, yeah, just leave it like this. I'll click command V, which will be control V on a, on a desktop device or whatever you use to, to paste. And now because I have this here, let's see, um, I said I want to add contact us and it's fine. No need for any link. Now I have it in two places. So if I go back here, there we go, contact us. So with a sync block, in case you, you didn't know, uh, which uh, will come in very handy for all your other Notion pages, once you make a change in one of the blocks, it syncs to every other instance where this block is. This is what we recommend for a nav bar. But yeah, this, this is where it's at. We've got a navigation bar right here to allow our users to navigate through our website. 
And um, this is obviously available on the freemium plan, so you don't even need to pay us anything uh, to, to access this feature. So uh, this was how to create the navigation bar or a nav bar in Notion for your Notion website. I'll see you next time.